the New York Yankees Recaps Podcast. Before he was a great color commentator with the Yes Network, David Cohn was one heck of a pitcher and a crucial part of the late 90s Yankees dynasty. Cohn came up with his hometown team, the Kansas City Royals, in 1986, before being traded to the New York Mets, where he would win 20 games and establish himself as one of the premier arms in the National League. In four and a half seasons with the Mets, he averaged 224 innings pitched and 16 wins per season. He was traded to the Toronto Blue Jays during their World Series run of 1992 and pitched well before returning to Kansas City for the next couple of years and eventually ending up back in Toronto in the 1995 season. It was the trading deadline of the 1995 season in which the GM of the New York Yankees, Gene Michael, acquired David Cohn for Marty Jansen. Cohn ended up becoming the perfect hired gun that season, pitching the Yankees into the playoffs with a 9-2 record and a 3.82 ERA. Both started as shortstops. And they go around and... Yes, yes sir! Oh, Cummins at third says... Yours truly was in attendance to watch David Cohn pitch Game 1 of the American League Division Series, in which he won despite allowing two monster home runs to Ken Griffey Jr. I know that this is more of a Mariners highlight, but his swing was just so pretty. The right field, way back, he has done it again! Goodbye! Griffey got David Cohn again in Game 5, in which the Yankees would lose 6-5 to to the Seattle Mariners, dropping the American League Division Series. That winter, David Cohn rejected an offer from the Baltimore Orioles to return to the New York Yankees for the 1996 season, a season in which he would go 7-2 with a 2.88 ERA despite missing most of the season to aneurysm surgery, and he nearly pitched a no-hitter in his return against the Oakland A's that September. Cohn was rocked in Game 1 of the American League Division Series but made up for it, pitching six brilliant innings in Game 3 of the World Series against the Atlanta Braves. The Yankees, of course, won that series, and David Cohn went on to have a very nice year in 1997, pitching 195 innings with 222 strikeouts and posting a 2.82 ERA. In the historic 1998 season, David Cohn became the first pitcher to win 20 games 10 years apart when he went 20-7 with a 3.55 ERA and finished fourth in the American League Cy Young voting. In 1999, David Cohn was... How shall we say it? Perfect. He had a decent year that year, 12-9 with a 3.44 ERA and 31 starts, and the Yankees won another World Series. 2000 was David Cohn's final season with the Yankees, and he went 4-14 with a 6.91 ERA and 155 innings, as he really struggled to adjust to a diminished fastball. The following season, he joined the Red Sox before taking a year off in 2002 and attempting a comeback in 2003 with the Mets. Cohn may never make the Hall of Fame, but he had a very nice career. 194 wins, a 3.46 ERA, and a member of five World Championship teams.
Join me, Derek Lewandowski, every week on the New York Yankees Recaps podcast, available wherever you get your podcasts. Also, subscribe to this channel for recaps of every game all season long, all the biggest news, all the best trade rumors, right here on New York Yankees Recaps.